with the greetings of assalamu alaikum. That beautiful greeting is a prayer as well. When we say assalamu alaikum, we're wishing that person that we greet peace and tranquility. But we're asking God to bless them with that because we cannot give that. Only Allah can give peace and tranquility. So it's a prayer. And when we greet each other, the return greeting, as we say, assalamu alaikum, the return greeting is wa alaikum assalam. We're returning the same greeting to that individual that they gave to us. And we pray that God will bless that individual with the same blessing that they have bestowed upon us. When we uh, become greater, uh, knowledge, more knowledgeable, I should say, uh, in the institution of prayer itself, we know that when we are praying, we don't only ask for things for ourselves, we pray for the whole world. Because <clears throat> in praying, for just an individual, it's being selfish. We should always remember that there are about two to three billion human beings on the back of this earth. And each one of them have their own personal needs. And God rewards each individual for the deeds that they do. And when we're making prayer, we should always remember to <clears throat> give freely of our wealth and our knowledge. Because the man that is wealthy in a material sense and gives his attention to his material wealth is not near as uh, wealthy as the man who has knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and gives from that to those who like that to increase their knowledge and wisdom and understanding. A vessel that is filled and never empty doesn't benefit anyone. It's the vessel that gives, that refills. As we see the sponge that comes from the sea is able to absorb great amounts of water, but every time that it's squeezed out, it's able to take in more. So it is with the believer. When we give out the knowledge and wisdom and understanding that we possess, we're able to help others that like that ability. And thus, every time we do that, you're rewarded with a blessing. As all the beautiful conversation that uh, listened to this afternoon from so many beautiful and learned minds, I benefited from it because what was being given out was what was needed for us today in order for us to elevate our intelligence to prepare for the coming of or the end of this virus and there's many types of viruses that we encounter in life. Some of these viruses can be deadly. Some can just make you sick. But we want to avoid any difficulties in life. And that's what makes prayer so important. Because when we pray to God, he hears the prayer and he opens the gates of his mercy unto us, his protection. And there's no protection greater than the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every time we make prayer, we gain a greater understanding and God elevates us in scripture as well as in our daily activities. I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this community and the community of humanity worldwide will absorb the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of <clears throat> all of the students of Imam Wafti Muhammad. Because it's through 
those students and those learned imams and believers and Muslims that the world will change. We will remake the world. Anytime that a house or anything starts to deteriorate, we have to have the ability to put it back together or remodel it. And that's what we have to do. The world itself as a whole has committed no sin. It is from the members of the human family that has started the decay and decline of our atmosphere, etc. We should pray that God bless us with the great minds that's necessary for us to remake this world. It's important that we support all the initiatives of Imam Wafti Muhammad. He prayed to God to guide him, to guide his people, and he was greatly rewarded. We are the beneficiaries of the blueprint that he left for humanity. So when we make prayer, remember our dear beloved Imam and remember something else, that we were blessed to live in the time of Imam Wafti Muhammad. There's many people on the face of the earth would have loved to have had Imam Wafti Muhammad to come to them and to teach and lead them. But he was dedicated to his people. And he prayed to God to give him the strength to do all that was necessary to guide this community and to keep us together and to increase our intellect and intelligence and the knowledge of the Quran. He said to us many times that Imam Wafdi Muhammad, or pardon me, Wallace Muhammad, is following Imam Wafdi Muhammad, and Imam Wafdi Muhammad is following Prophet Muhammad to whom the Quran was revealed. 